The forest wellness week videos were recorded prior to the stricter general community quarantine announced last March 21, 2021, and in accordance with the then existing protocols. We are reminding everyone to stay indoors, observe social distancing and other health and safety protocols if doing the exercises with other people. The Philippines joins the international community in celebrating the International Day of Forests every March 21 to celebrate and raise awareness on the importance of forests. This year's theme, Forest Restoration, A Path to Recovery and Well-Being, highlights the role of forests amid the pandemic by safeguarding our physical, emotional, and mental well-being and boosting economic growth through green jobs. The DENR FMB's Forest Wellness Week showcases urban green spaces as venues for improvement of well-being and healing through a series of online fitness classes. Today, we are bringing you to Quezon Memorial Circle in Elliptical Road, Quezon City. The vast park is at the center of a roundabout where several major avenues merge. The mausoleum that contains the remains of former President Manuel L. Quezon is an iconic Quezon City landmark. The park features a number of public facilities such as the Seminar Hall, Century Hall, People's Hall, Museums, Garden of Flowers, Tropical Garden, World Peace Bell, Children's Playground, Exercise Machine, and Bicycle and Jogging Trails where families, friends, and individuals may enjoy Zumba, Ballroom, Biking, Jogging, Food Trip, Bazaar Shopping, Plant Buying, or just simply appreciating nature and being at peace. Joining us from the Quezon Memorial Circle for the high-intensity interval training session are Coach Ken and Coach Luis. Hi, my name is Coach Ken and I've been coaching for the past 10 years. I'm currently a coach of the national team. Hi, I'm Coach Luis. I've been coaching for the past 7 years and my main objective is to help uh, people, especially parents, get back into fitness. We are trained with the dance and we've been coaching together for the past seven years. Our main goal is to help people build better, build habits. better habits. We're here now at the Tropical Garden in GC Memorial Circle. And we are going to do a hip workout. Uh, hip is a sh short, high intensity workout. We are going to have three parts for the workout. First, our warm up. Then, it's going to be our main workout. Then, we're going to have a short cool down. Um, the main benefits, of course, would be to strengthen your body. And during these difficult times, we want to strengthen our body so that we can help boost our immune system. So let's start. Let's go. Let's go. So for the first part, our warm-up, we're going to have three movements. Each movement is going to be done in 30 seconds. And then we're going to, after 30 seconds, we're going to switch to the next movement. We will, uh, this will be done in two rounds. All right, for the first part or our first segment, we are going to start with our warm-up. Our warm-up is going to be three minutes long. It's going to have three movements. On the first round, we're going to focus on the right leg. On the second round, we're going to focus on the left side. All right, first movement is going to be leg raises. So, uh, leg swings, if you're going to have a hard time uh, balancing, I suggest you have a wall or something to hold on to. Like my partner here, or if you can, get a partner. Then for the leg swings, you just want to kick in front and then kick back. Make sure that you don't hyperextend or you don't spend too much. There you go. Now, for the next movement, you're going to go down in your all fours. You are going to raise your right leg back all the way up, reaching the ceiling. There you go. So the target for this muscle is our hamstrings and our heels. And this is gonna be done for another 30 seconds. Alright? Alright, for the third workout, or for our third exercise for the warm-up, we are gonna do jumping jacks for the jumping jacks. We take a knee together first, and then jump your way out and then back in. There you go. So for the fast pace, this is how it's gonna look like. Now for the Guys, for you guys that are having a hard time jumping or knee pain, I suggest you modify the workout by doing this. There you go. One leg out, one leg back in. Ready? And we're going to start in five seconds. Three, two, two, one, go. You can grab onto something if it's hard to balance. 
if you have a partner, you can grab your partner and hold on to your partner for you the You can balance. hold on to a chair as well. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Right, Let's go. We're halfway there. Good. Ten seconds in. Three, two, one, and we're gonna go down on all fours. We're gonna do loose kickbacks on your right leg. Make sure to squeeze your glutes at the top of the position. Good. 10 seconds left. One. Jumping jacks or you can do the modified version, the one that I'm doing. Good, let's go. Halfway done, let's go. First round is almost done, let's go. <laughs> Five. Now we're gonna do the other leg. We're gonna do the left leg. Good. Let's go everyone. Halfway. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Down on all fours. We're gonna go to the left side. Kick back. Good job, everyone. Let's go. Ease your glutes at the top of the position. Five seconds left. Jumping jack. Let's go, everyone. And this is our last movement for the warm up. Let's go. Fifteen seconds left. Let's go. Come on. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Now we're done with our warm up, and we're gonna head on to the main part of the workout. And Coach Ken will explain. So for the main part of the workout, our first part is gonna be upper body. So we're gonna focus on three movements all in our upper body. The first movement is gonna be shoulder taps to push up. So for your shoulder taps, I want you to maintain one single line from your shoulders, your hips, your knees, to your uh, ankles. You wanna make sure that your hips doesn't go this way or it doesn't spike up this way, all right? Now, you can also opt to do this uh, this is a modified version if you're having a hard time for the strict one or the uh, regular version. But again, same concept, you're gonna have one straight line from your shoulders to your hips to your knees. Right, for the shoulder taps, it's gonna be left and right. And then a push-up. Tap, tap, push-up. Now, I wanna make sure that when we do our push-up, chest and thighs are gonna touch the ground. And then on the way up, you're not gonna arch your back or you're not gonna cobra your back. So then one uh, one of the arch your back. Let's avoid doing this to have uh, to minimize back pain. Right? Okay, you can give me a second. Regular version will look like this. So do that. Push up. Alright. Now the next next movement we are gonna do wide raises. So again, down to the floor, legs and thighs touching the ground. Now we're gonna, we are gonna raise our shoulders up on the floor, then reach forward, then reach back again. Right? We call this wide raises. Uh, main purpose for this workout is to build the upper back and shoulder mobility. The third workout or the third exercise is gonna be 
inchworms um, from here, touch your toes, and then inch your way up to a back, then back to your feet. Right? I want to make sure lang that if we touch our uh, inch our way out, same concept with our push up, we maintain one straight line, and then inch our way back again. All right. Ready? We are gonna do this for 12 minutes, 40 second rest or 40 second, ah sorry, 40 second work as much um, reps as you can. Then we have 20 second rest. Okay, let's go. Ready? And let's start in five, five seconds. seconds. Two, one, shoulder taps, push ups. Make sure to breathe all the way. Good. Halfway there. Try to keep your elbows close to your body as possible. Last five seconds. Let's go. Rest. Rest for 20 seconds. We're gonna do wire races for the next exercise. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, everyone. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Let's go. Good. Halfway. Let's go. Last five seconds. Twenty seconds rest. Then inchworms. We're gonna do inchworms. We're gonna start um, standing up. Ten Ready. seconds. Make sure to breathe on your rests. Two, one. one. Reach your toes and stroll out. the 20 second rest we're gonna have a full minute to rest catch your breath your copper and shake off your arms, arms. A bit sore now on our triceps and our forearms right Drink water if you need to. Wipe your sweat off if you need to. It's time for you to recover. I'm gonna do this for two more rounds. All right, we're gonna get ready. In ten, ten seconds. seconds. Shoulder taps, the push-ups. Let's go, guys! Rest! Rest! We're gonna do wire races. We have... Okay, on to the second. 
Second round. Second round. Get ready. One, go. Roll it down some push ups. Let's go, everyone. Try to keep the energy up. Let's go. Maintain the same intensity. Halfway. And seconds left. Yeah, we listen. Let's go, everyone. Three, two, rest. Ready. Ready for a white race. It's 10 seconds. Second round of white races. Five, three, two, Shoulders off from the floor. Then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Let's go. Make sure to feel that squeeze. Halfway. Let's go, everyone. Keep pushing. Five seconds. Let's go, everyone. Rest. One second, rest again. Then we're gonna go inchworms. Ready, guys. Three, two, one. Inchworms. Let's go guys, try to maintain good form throughout the movement. Let's go. Engage your core. Flex your abs. Ten seconds. Squeeze in a few more reps. Let's go guys. Alright, complete rest again. One minute. Good including the 20 there. seconds and we're gonna have this for the last round one more round <laughs> you can drink water wipe off your sweat ah. we're gonna do one more round in a one bit. more round one more minute rest Ready? 20 seconds more. Oh, Get ready. Last round. 20 seconds. Last 20 seconds, guys. Perfect time. Ready, guys. Two, one. Last round. Come on, guys. <laughs> Push. It's our last round for the upper body. Ten seconds. Let's go, everyone. Twenty second rest. Almost there, guys. Two more upper body movements, and then we're gonna take a break. Ten seconds. Ready. We're gonna do. 
last set of boy raises. Go! Make sure to squeeze again. Whole upper back. Let's go. Elbows going to your side. Reach Shout forward. Front. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Let's go. Ten seconds. Let's go. Last movement, inchworms. Ten seconds. Ready. Maintain the proper form. Ready, five seconds. Two, one. Rest, and we are done for the first part of the workout. Okay, for the second part of the workout, we are gonna focus on your lower body. So the first movement will be lunges. So you're gonna step forward and focus on bringing your back knee down to the floor. Then just standing up, then go back to your starting position. Same thing for the other leg. Step forward, focus on the back knee going down. Stand up, go step back. Then for the next movement, you are gonna go down on the floor. You're gonna uh, pull your legs like this. Then you're gonna bring your hips up and squeeze your glutes at the top. So this is called two bridges. So Coach Ken will show us five good reps. Good. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Good, squeeze, and rest. Okay, and then the last movement, we are going to do the squats. So for the squats, you can put your hands um, at the back of your head to help keep your chest up. From here, you're gonna focus on pointing your belly button forward, keeping your chest up and looking straight. You're gonna bend your knees, go down on the squat. Then stand up. Okay, so we're gonna look at Coach Ken from the side. So from the side, you can see um, Coach Ken maintains the position of his belly button, position of his uh, shoulders, and but Coach Ken show us a good rep. Okay, up. Okay, so we want to avoid. Uh, we want to avoid curving your back as you go down, or bringing your pointing your belly button down. Okay. So we want to maintain that posture and also if you can only go down to a half squat, that's okay. Okay, so as long as once your belly button starts pointing down, you want to stay at the position where you can maintain na naka point siya forward. So Coach Ken will show us a demo. So it's good up until this point. Now his belly button is pointing down. You want to maintain it upwards, okay? Um, and then make sure also if you have any knee pain, um, you can either use a chair. We don't have a chair here, but you can either use a chair. So that will be your marker. So when you do, Coach Ken will have an imaginary chair and his. Okay. So once your butt touches the chair, um, you're good to go. So make sure if you have any knee injuries, you can skip this part of the workout just to avoid um, it getting worse. Um, so we're ready to start with the next part. Um, let's go. Sit down. 
five seconds, we're gonna start our second part. Leg workout. All right, lunges. Maintain your back straight, chest forward the whole time. Uh, if you're having a problem on your balance, you can grab onto something. Main goal or main target is to get the knees to the floor. If you're having a hard time, maintain. Go as low as you can without the pain. 10 seconds before we take a break. Right rest. Next movement, two bridges. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Yeah, for this workout, all tension rules should be on the hamstring and the glutes. Go. Squeeze on top. Hold up for a good second. It's a good way to build your uh, glutes or your butt. Strengthen the hamstring. Right. Maintain your core activated. Flex your abs. Yes. Thirty seconds. Third movement is going to be squats. Ten seconds. Three, two. One, go. Back straight. Now again, if you're feeling something on your knees, go as low as you can down without the knee pain. Halfway. Breathe throughout the movement. Don't hold your breath. Five seconds. All right, minute and 20 second break. Catch your breath. Water break. Stretch your legs. And right, we're gonna do it for two more rounds. Starting with the lunges again. One more minute. Now for the breathing, we're gonna make sure that we inhale through our nose. Deep inhale, then exhale through the mouth, like whistling. Thirty seconds left. Second round, we want to try and maintain the intensity or speed up a little if you can. I'm good with my pace and feel my legs now. All right, get ready. Five seconds for the second round. You know, you're feeling your legs, but you want to make sure that you still have the core activated. Chest and belly button point is straight. Let's go halfway. Five seconds. Press. Then two bridges. Walk around face. Ten seconds. Set it up. Five seconds. 
Ready? <laughs> Go! Halfway! guys five seconds <laughs> so rest for two minutes again squats three breathe maintain intensity ten seconds Keep your back straight, especially when you're tired. <laughs> right. Three, Again, two, we're, gonna, we're going on to our last round. Catch your breath. Stretch it out. Water break. <laughs> the last round, I know you're feeling your legs. Everything's sore. This is the last round now. Make sure to give it your best. Um, stay in proper form. Seconds. I have 30 seconds. Last three minute workout, and then we're done. Our legs. Stand up now, get ready. 10 seconds. Eight, 3, 2, 1. Third and last round. Lunges. Let's go. Bring your chest up. Increase the intensity. It's going to be your last round. Push. Let's go, 10 seconds left. Last lunges for today. Rest. Eight bridges. Again, this is gonna be the last. 10 seconds, get ready. Last round. Three, two, one, go! Let's go, squeeze everything. More time. Flex your abs. Tension in the hamstring and the glutes. Last three, rest, right squats, last part of the workout, 10 seconds, Up. 
five, two, one, go. And pay chest up, belly button pointing straight. And go faster, go faster. Add intensity. Halfway. 10 seconds. Squeeze a few more reps. Five seconds. All right, press. 20 seconds. Then we're gonna proceed to the last part of the workout. We're gonna work out our abs. Alright, for the last part of the main workout, we are going to work on our core. That's what I said earlier. Now, again, there's going to be three movements. 40 second max rep, 20 second rest. And then go on to the next movement. Repeat for three more rounds. Two more rounds, sorry. Alright, for the first movement, we are going to do sit-ups. Now, if you have a partner working out with you, you can both step on each other's feet to lock it down. If you're having a hard time, or you can get something like a weighted cocktail or something that hook or anchor your um, feet. Now from here, you make sure you touch the floor above your head, then reach for the ankles. There you go. Then back down. Now, if this is too hard, imagine there's something, you're reaching for something on top, and then up, you can scale down or modify it to crunches. So that's the first workout. Now, um, common problem or common mistakes that uh, here you are stretching or engaging your neck too much um, so when you dip you want to make sure that you crunch from the abs not from your neck you want to avoid any strain from the neck next workout next movement front uh, Russian twist uh, for the Russian twist sit down on sit down on the floor leg straight right leg straight so, sit down now, from this point, I want to make sure that you lift your foot just a little over the floor. Hovering not some floor. Now, from here, touch one side, and then touch the other side. You're going to twist your body. Now, some of you will find this too hard. You can go down keep on the floor again. Heels on the floor. Just putting a slight weight on the floor. Right? Focus pa rin tayo on our core. Twisting the movement. If you want to challenge yourself, you can twist and hold for a second before twisting. These are our options. Right. For the last movement, we are going to do alternating single leg re ups. Now, from here, for the alternating single leg re ups, feet flat on the ground, arms overhead. Now you are gonna get your right arm to your left leg. Up, it rises at the same time. There you go. And then switch, there you go. Now a lot of you, or some of you will have a hard time doing this. What you can do is bend your knee and just touch your knee. There's, there you go. This is, gonna, this is gonna be your option for uh, this movement. Uh, great, it's hard now. All right, are you guys ready? We're gonna start with our third and final part of the workout. Core or abs. You're ready for that summer body. All right, get ready. We're gonna start off with sit-ups or crunches. Five, four, three, two, go. Halfway! Ten seconds! Three, two, one, press. Ten seconds. Twist. 
3, 2, 1, go! Let's go guys! Have fun while working out! You can also rest! Make sure to get back up again! Let's go everyone! Ten seconds. Let's go, everyone. Coach Luis is having a hot, uh, fun time working out. <laughs> Third movement in ten seconds. Alternating V ups. Single leg. Five, four, three, two, go. Let's go, everyone. Try to eat that form. It's good. Have a one minute break. Two more rounds. Drink water. Drink water. Breathe. We're almost done. Almost done. We're forgetting to breathe. We're enjoying too much. We're just laughing. Right. Ready. 30 seconds. Right, last 20 seconds. We're gonna get to start the second round. Again, if you're having a hard time, you can modify your skill down the movements. Go, set up. For the second round, the pause to keep moving. <laughs> so. Let's go, everyone. Halfway. Second, five. Rest. Rest. Russian twist. Ready. Three. Ready, guys. Two, one. Oh. So while doing this workout, I suggest you get something soft so your back won't hurt. Especially for the sit-ups. Especially for the sit-ups. If you're doing it on a rough uh, pavement, be sure to have like a yoga mat or a pillow, or a pillow. Uh, on your butt. So if I'm in the set, chances are you might get scratched while doing your sit-ups <laughs> or shape. Almost done 
the second round. Let's go. Ten seconds. Last round. Feeling it. Ah. Drink water if you need to. Stretch it out. I can feel my core cramping, my abs. Last minute, much needed rest. Deep breath. All right, 40 seconds left. All right, 20 seconds. Let's start. Last round. We're gonna go all out. This is the last part of the workout. Yeah, and to remind you guys, you can scale down the movement or modify the movements. As long as you keep moving. Yo! The third round, I'm just gonna offer crunches. You can also do this. Again, I'm gonna do Russian twist. Russian twist. You can offer modified or scaled version or the of the movements. I'm gonna scale it down also with my feet touching the floor, my heels. Go! Let's go, everyone. Last set. Which Luis is doing the scale or modified? Halfway. Let's go. Ten seconds. You can switch it up. If you feel ready, you can go back to your, the regular movement. If not, scale down. Let's go. Rest. Woo. Last part. Last part of the day. I go all out. 10 seconds. Ready. 3, 2, 1. After sitting the ups. Scale it down if you need to. Again, the scale down version is just bending your knees, reaching for your heels. We're halfway there. Alright, rest and we are done for today. Now the last part is gonna be our cool down. Let's just stretch it down. Right. Alright, uh, for the last part, we are gonna do down, stretch it out, make sure that our bodies got tight. We want to make sure to stretch it out to help loosen it up and uh, help us cover better. Right. So you just follow us, this is gonna be for 30 seconds. You're just gonna hold the position. Alright. 
uh, the first part, arm stretch. Make sure to pull your feet back. Pull it back. Pull this side, uh, part back. And this one, you're gonna pull it with your other arm. <laughs> gonna hold this for 30 seconds for the right side. And then after 30 seconds, you're gonna switch to the other side. So if you feel numbness or tingling, means you're stretching too much. I'm gonna do the number that stretch. Alright, we're gonna switch, switch to the other side. Same thing, pull your shoulders back and pull your arm to your other arm. And again, make sure that there's no tingling sensation or numbing of your fingers and knees. <laughs> you are stretching too much, you're forcing yourself. You gotta make sure that you're stretching the muscles, not overstretching them. Great. Alright, next, hands and lunge, right leg. So it's just a regular lunge a while ago, but this time you're gonna push your hips back. And stretch and reach back. Hold that again for 30 seconds. Feel all your lower back, upper back stretching, including your hips. Quads. Right. And switch your foot again. Put it back again. Up until your limit. Push it up. Now you want to stretch your core, your abs, in this position. Make sure to breathe properly. Inhale through your nose, exhale through the mouth. Lengthen the muscle. Alright, last part. Heels, forward, as far as you can. All right, good job today. Thank you for joining our class. Hope you had fun. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Hope you guys had fun. Um, thank you also to TV and our FMP for inviting us and for um, bringing health and fitness to the participants of this week. Can I invite everyone to uh, visit parks instead of malls? Enjoy the scenery, the greenery here in the Philippines. The fresh air. The fresh air, uh, like what we have right here in QC Circle Memorial. Um, I invite everyone, if you have any questions related to fitness, you can follow us um, on Instagram at Strain With The Tans and on Facebook as well. Once again, thank you to me and our uh, FNP Forest Wellness Week. Uh, hope you can celebrate with us every March 21 for International Forest Day. Uh, don't forget, follow me and our FNP's Facebook page uh, for the updates and their upcoming events. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.